Hello everyone. Well, this is me, Irshad sir, uh, language trainer at SSM Academy, Kopwara. Today I am going to share some important tips and some tricks uh, that would definitely help you in boosting your language skills. Then you will be able to speak more professionally, uh, more efficiently, and more fluently. Fine. So you need to consider few things before speaking to that person, before trying to vocalize your views, before vocalize your ideas, or exchange of your idea before other people. Right. So the thing is, the first thing that I feel that important tip is that as a language trainer, what I, I felt that how I, I I have been able to uh, enhance my language skills. The first thing was that whenever I try to spoke to the people at the first instant in the beginning, when I was a beginner uh, in English speaking, so I never considered the grammar, uh, small grammar things like prepositions, like uh, those words, were helping groups, and all that. Whatever I got the idea, I actually try to speak to other people without considering this because if I will consider these very small and minute things to the people. Surely I will get discouraged that I was not able to save is rather than was and all the kinds of things. I had to say the book is on the table or the book is at the table, but the other person understands that the person wants to say the book is on the table. So you consider these things in the later stage, but in the beginning stage you must start speaking, you must start speaking, you must not stop in between. So the first thing is that go, don't stop. Second option, second, the second and beautiful and important tip is that. Whenever you try to speak to the other person, you want to share your exchange, your uh, ideas with them. Uh, the important thing there is that you need not to just use a uh, tough okay to impress others, or uh, you will use some idiomatic kind of English, you know, where there is high idioms and high kinds of those phrasal verbs, or you can say proverbs. You will use to try to you know just impress other people and tantalize them at something else. But no. What you need to do that you need to speak simple and lucid and language English that the people must understand at a good tone at a good pitch, so that whatever you speak, it will be uh, you know it will be having a magical effect on the listeners. Yes, fine. So this is the second thing. It always try to speak very normal, very simple, so that others would understand it perfectly. If you feel that the other person to whom you are talking is having bit uh, you know the high level, then you then you can use idiomatic English. Then you are at liberty. You can use any kind of. English. The third thing is that uh, whenever you talk to the people, when somebody asks you some question or somebody is, you know, just making a discussion or debate with you, what you need to do that time that uh, you must uh, on listening uh, while hearing the question, while uh, listening to the question of other person, that you must pause for some second. Still, then you can collect your ideas and you can generate the thought. You can generate a reply, and then you can vocalize your things at ease. And when you talk to other person, that's the fourth thing is that look straight into the eyes. If you look here and there, down or up and inside towards the sky or the roof and all that, it will just create an impression that you you have just actually. Uh, it's a kind of root learning, or you're mugging of the things out. So it will create a bad impression on other person. And the fourth and important tip is that when you speak to other person, always use your body language because half of your work is done by your body. You know, uh, mobilization. How you uh, move? Uh, how you, how you make the mobilization of your hands, your eyes, your you know, just how your body supports you while you speak something. Like sometimes I have to say that. Uh, and uh, if you don't mind that, I want to say something important. Uh, I'm sorry, Ram. Please forgive me for that. You can use these kinds of, you know, these body gestures. They will definitely help you make you good speaker, a professional speaker, and they will definitely add more beauty to your speech. Fine. And last and important thing is that whenever you talk to the person, look straight into the eyes of the person, and. In between, use gap fillers, or you can say interjections. Like uh, if sometimes somebody is asking some question that somebody's opinion and asking you about it, that what's your salary, and you cannot, you don't want to disclose your salary statement. You can say, um, well, uh, if I talk about my salary, Alhamdulillah, I'm contented, I'm satisfied. So this will be a good answer. Or sometimes uh, somebody asks you some about about any question, you can say, so far my knowledge is concerned, or so far. Uh, my opinion is concerned, or if I would like to vocalize my opinion, I will, I will opine about the things out. Or uh, you have posed a good question, I would like to answer you by this way. Or you can say, uh, I mean to say, uh, I think, uh, probably. Right. So if you use these gap fillers, and they will uh, just uh, try to uh, bridge your you know communication with the other part what you are going to say and 
the gaps in between when you speak to the people will definitely create a bad impression on the listeners on the people who are on the audiences fine so you always need when you're not getting some idea you can say well i mean to say i think uh, most probably definitely basically basically certainly and you can use these ideas if you want to vocalize your things more beautifully uh, i hope these tips will definitely help you out and please don't forget share with other people because sharing is caring thank you so much for listening allah hafiz